The stark reality of our state's financial crisis is quickly sinking into all corners of Illinois. One group that is now struggling to figure out how to come to terms with the potential budget cuts in the is the Southern Illinois University School of Medicine. Good day, Illinois' Evan Peterson spoke with health officials there about how they're moving forward. Evan? Jen Adam, SIU's Alzheimer's Education and Treatment Department is facing a serious funding cut. Under the governor's proposal, they stand to lose $1.5 million, which means lack of needed health care, loss of jobs, and loss of programs. It's a familiar environment for Thomas Yokely, a doctor's office at Southern Illinois University's Alzheimer's Center in Springfield, a place he and his wife used to visit often. I guess it was probably like most denial at first. Thomas's wife was diagnosed with rapidly progressing Alzheimer's back in 2009. Together they sought treatment at SIU. Care that Thomas says made all the difference in keeping his wife around a little longer. If it hadn't been for SIU, she would have probably been in an institution six to eight months before she really was. I mean, we, they helped us stretch our, her time at home. Half of our patients would end up in the nursing home eventually. Uh, we don't like to say that, but that's uh, the nature of the disease. Many patients end up needing long-term custodial care. Currently, there's no cure for Alzheimer's, but the state funding SIU received increased the window of time patients had before completely falling victim to the disease. Grants that are currently in jeopardy. If we don't have the funding, we won't be able to continue to help you out in supporting some of your staff. Uh, for some of the sites, we provide up to $2,500 in a year so they can do education in their own community. Despite the grim prospects of potential funding cuts that would result in job losses, program cuts, and lack of patient care, physicians say they are confident lawmakers will see things their way. If we ran the numbers on the thousand patients that we saw, followed them over time, uh, if we can keep the patients, uh, help the patients stay out of the nursing home for a month or two, the program has paid for itself. Thomas says it costs taxpayers thousands of dollars a month to put someone up in an institution, but costs the state less to put them in programs like these, meaning it's more financially sound to keep this program open, so that people who may find themselves in Thomas's situation aren't without hope. Without these things, it's going to be difficult for me. And, and I can see people going to homes earlier than they would have if they didn't, if they had the support that we have had from SIU. Governor Rauner's office issued a statement. It reads, quote, Illinois faces a $6 billion budget hole because of years of insider deals and financial recklessness. Without structural reform, difficult choices were made. These funds were repurposed to help pay for general Medicaid services, which help people at the lowest levels of income. This is the budget we can't afford, end quote. A lot of difficult choices lay ahead for patients at SIU's Alzheimer's Department, as well as here in the Capitol for lawmakers.